Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we're back for another LEGO set review, and today we're looking at the LEGO Hogwarts Clock Tower. This set retails for £84.99. Let's get started. So let's go through the figures first. First of all, we've got Cedric, a nice little winter ball outfit for him. Tuxedo, brown wand, a bit of back printing as well. Nice hairpiece. Next up, we've got Dumbledore. This is basically the pink version of the edition of him that came out in Harry Potter Collector Winner Figures Series 1, where he was blue, if you remember. This is basically the pink version. Very nice edition, I think. And then we've got Ron in his classic ugly, ugly gown. <coughs> Bit of back printing as well. Harry and Ron both have the little legs that are movable. And speaking of Harry, there he is. Also in a tuxedo, brown wand. Back printing too, just like Cedric. Very similar, as you can see, very, very similar torsos, both of them. Next up, we've got Fleur. Quite a uh, standard, standard design for her, to be honest, really. No printing on the legs, anything like that. What I do like is that she has this new version. Where instead of just having two single studs to connect it loosely, it actually properly goes in like a normal pair of legs does, which is good. Next up, we've got Victor Crumb. Lovely printing on his torso there. Nice colour wand as well. Back printing too. Then we've got Hermione. This is actually just a two by one stud down here on her legs with another little darker pink um, plate underneath. Slightly upgraded hairpiece for her as well, and a slightly different face compared to the other sets. And finally, we have Madame Maxime. Now, this is a two block high, but instead of like Fleur's where it comes out a little bit, like normal minifigure legs, this one just has the studs. So it's a bit kind of loose and they'll often fall off when you're playing. Which isn't great, I'm not a huge fan of that. But there you go, she stands a lot taller than other figures as you can see. However, still nice printing on her. A bit of back printing as well on both, which is very nice. So this is the first floor of the clock tower. As you can see there, you've got the goblet of fire. Very nice use of pieces there. And here you've got a little chest with some gems in it, not too many. And then across from here, you've got a nice bathroom here, really, really nice use of the um, kind of the lightsaber pieces, I guess you would say. The blue lightsaber pieces with the uh, gold nozzles up top making it give the effect of water flowing into the bath, really, really nice. If you go over here to the first floor, you can see it's by there, moody. It says. This is a class taught by Alistair Moody. Unfortunately, his figure didn't come with that set, this set. That would have been really, really nice if it did, but unfortunately it doesn't. So there, you've got an entire classroom right there where someone can be taught. Harry or Ron, for instance. You've got some potions at the back there. Really nice. And then if you go across here, you've got a very nice Dumbledore's office. Now, it's quite small, but the stickers on the back kind of give the illusion that it's bigger than it is, which is quite nice. Got a nice sword up there. Yeah, it's, it's a small little office, but it's quite nice. He, uh, he fits well in there. And now if we go up to the second floor, you can see we've kind of got the infirmary area with two beds for any people who aren't feeling too good and some nice blue curtains kind of keeping them apart. The only thing I don't like about this is this big thing here, which turns the clock on the front, as you'll see now. I kind of feel like it doesn't really belong here. It kind of sticks out a bit ugly. You know, you've got like the blue Technic piece there. It doesn't really fit with the whole vibe of the set. I think they could have done without that, but that's just my opinion. And we've got some more spires up there. And now if we go across, we enter the winter ball area of the set. Obviously here it includes a nice Triwizard Cup. Nice little build here, really good. Comes with some really, really nice, nicely detailed tables here. For the winter ball, there's one and there's two, subtly different. Both lovely. Then we've got the Christmas tree right here, star at the top. These are some quite nice mini builds that it includes in the set. I really like these. And then we come to this. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this. I feel like they could have easily used the space better. Basically, this is kind of like a dancing ring. So you can put a figure on here, they kind of just like twist as they go around. Yeah, it's not great. If you put Dumbledore on there like that, as you go around, you can kind of spin like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. I'm not really a huge fan of this. I feel like it doesn't really go with the rest of the set, and I would have much rather get just an extra little small room here to build our Hogwarts a bit more. This is quite disappointing for me, but that's my view on this little area of the room. So that right there is the interior of the clock tower. Overall, this part here, what I've got in shot right now, is really nice. However, this is not the best, and this bit particularly here, this cog to turn the clock, isn't too great. 
Overall, I would give this set a 7 out of 10. I'm not a huge fan of the ice area with the dancing mechanism where you turn it. And I'm also not a huge fan of the cog to turn the clock at the front on the very top floor of the clock tower. I just feel like it doesn't really belong in the set and they didn't really need the ability to turn the clock. Finally, I'm not a huge fan of the figures overall. A lot of them are dressed in very specific clothes for the winter ball. The figures that are dressed in the winter ball specific outfits aren't particularly replayable in other scenarios. For instance, trying to do a battle at Hogwarts, you wouldn't be able to do that in their winter gown. You would have to use the figures in their school outfits from the other sets mainly. Having said that, I'm a huge fan of the other figures that aren't winter ball specific. For example, this Dumbledore figure. Thank you guys very much for watching. Smash that like button. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.